engine working on diesel cycle inlet pressure 1 bar inlet temperature 27 degree celsius pressure at the end of adiabatic compression 35 bar the ratio of expansion is equal to 6 calculate the heat addition heat rejection and the efficiency of the cycle assume gamma is equal to 1.4 cp is equal to 1.004 kilojoule per kilogram kelvin and cv is equal to 0.717 kilojoule per kilogram kelvin Let us understand given data with the help of pressure volume diagram of the diesel cycle. Inlet pressure is given 1 bar. If we observe process 1, 2, 3, 4 to 1, then process 1 to 2 is the isentropic compression process where this uh, air is getting compressed inside the piston cylinder arrangement. So, point 1 is the inlet point. So, inlet pressure is P1 and which is equal to 1 bar. So, we will give its a rotation P1 is equal to 1 bar. Inlet temperature is 27 degree Celsius. So, T1 is equal to 27 degree Celsius. So, we have to convert it into Kelvin. So, 273 plus 27 is equal to 300 Kelvin. Because for the calculation, we require this temperature in Kelvin. Pressure at the end of compression. So, process 1 to 2 is the compression process. So, this is the start point of the compression and point 2 is the end point of the compression. So, P2 is equal to 35 bar. Expansion ratio. So, we know that process 1 to 2 compression 2 to 3 heat addition 3 to 4 is the expansion process and 4 to 1 is the heat rejection process. So, compression ratio it is the ratio of volume at point 4 to the volume at point 3 because V4 is larger than V3. So, V4 by V3 is known as expansion ratio. So, I will write here it is V4 by V3. So, from the diagram we can say that V4 by V3 is equal to 6. Then it is given that gamma is equal to 1.4. Cp that is the specific heat at constant pressure is given. Cv specific heat at constant volume is also given. And we have to find out the efficiency of the diesel cycle. Now, if we observe here, we, can, we will first calculate the heat addition that is the heat supplied and heat rejected. So, heat is supplied process 2 to 3 is taking place at constant pressure and heat is rejected this process 4 to 1 is taking place at constant volume. Now, we will move to the process 1 to 2. So, if we observe the for the process 1 to 2, we have relation in between volume and pressure. V1 by V2 is equal to P2 by P1 raised to 1 by gamma. So, P2 is known. So, 35 by 1 raised to 1 by gamma that is 1 divided by 1.4. So, its answer is 12.48. Now, what is this V1 by V2? So, V1 by V2 is known as compression ratio. So, its a notation is R. So, we can say that this 12.48 is known as R or we can say that it is compression ratio. Then cut off ratio. So, from diagram cut off ratio is V3 by V2. So, V3 by V2. So, if we divide and multiply with V1 then it will become V3 by V1 multiplied by V1 by V2. So, here this V1 V1 is getting cancelled. Now, how to calculate this cut off ratio? If we observe this then the ratio of V1 by V2. So, this V1 by V2 is known. Then the expansion ratio V4 by V3 is known. So, here is V3 by V1. Now, if we observe V1 is equal to V4. So, we can put here V4 instead of V1. So, I will rearrange this. So, I will take this term to the denominator. 
So, if I take this term to the denominator then it will become v1 by v2 divided by v1 by v3. Now, instead of v1 we will put v4. So, it will become v4 by v3. Now, we know the value of v4 by v3 that is 6. And we know the value of v1 by v2 that is 12.48 because this is the compression ratio r. So, if we observe this v1 by v2 is compression ratio divided by v4 by v3 is expansion ratio. So, we will get the cut off ratio is equal to 2.08. Now, we will calculate the temperature at point 2. So, how to calculate this? So, we have relation in between temperature and pressure because pressure P1, P2 is known but temperature T2 is not known and T1 is known. So, we will write here T2 by T1 is equal to P2 by P1 raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma. So, we will first solve this gamma minus 1, 1 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1.4. So, we have to first solve this and then 35 by 1 that is 35 raised to this that is equal to 2.70. Now, how to calculate T2? So, we have to multiply with T1 to the 2.70. So, T1 we have to take in Kelvin. So, T2 is equal to 811 Kelvin. Now, we will move to the process 2 to 3. So, for this process 2 to 3, we have relation in between temperature and volume. T3 by T2 is equal to V3 by V2. So, V3 by V2 is known as cutoff ratio. So, cutoff ratio we have calculated 2.08. So, T3 is equal to we have to multiply with T2 and T2 we have calculated. So, T3 is equal to 1686.8 Kelvin. So, this is the value of T3. Now, we will move to the process 3 to 4. So, T4 by T3 is equal to V4, V3 by V4 raised to gamma minus 1. Now, if we observe process 3 to 4 is the expansion process. And the expansion ratio that is this V4 by V3 is given. So, here is V3 by V4. So, how to take? We have to take the inverse of this expansion ratio so that we will get V3 by V4. So, 1 by 6 is equal to V3 by V4. So, 1 by 6 raised to gamma minus 1 that is 0 0.4. So, when we calculate this we will get 0 0.48. So, how to calculate T4? We have to multiply with T3 for this. So, T4 is equal to 823.7 Kelvin. So, we will get the value of T4 also. Now, we will move to the calculation of heat supplied and heat rejected. So, heat is supplied during the process 2 to 3 and heat is rejected during the process 4 to 1. Now, heat supplied process is taking place at constant pressure. So, we have to take the specific heat at constant pressure multiplied by the temperature difference in between 0.2 to 3. Now, if we observe the temperature T2 and T3, then T3 is greater than T2. So, we will take temperature difference T3 minus T2 multiplied by Cp. Now, we will calculate the heat rejected. So, heat rejected process is taking place at constant volume and we have to multiply with temperature difference during the process 4 and 1. So, if we compare T4 and T1 then T4 is larger or greater than T1. So, we will take temperature difference T4 minus T1 multiplied by Cv because this process is at constant volume. So, when we calculate then we will get heat added that means heat supplied that is Hs and heat rejected that is Hr. So, these values we will get in kilojoule per kilogram. Now, how to calculate the efficiency? Efficiency is equal to heat supplied minus heat rejected divided by heat supplied. So, we have to take this. So, its answer is 0 0.40 but we know that efficiency is always in percentage. So, nita is equal to 40 percent because we have to multiply here with 100 and we will take the notation that is 40 percent. So, this is the answer.